What's going on everyone? Roscoe here, we are back. So I think I have finally recovered from the release of the Zion 350v2. I mean, it took every ounce of energy out of me trying to get this sneaker online. It just felt like the whole release was just a roller coaster. I ended up walking away with a lowercase w. I gotta put that in the L column. But first, before we dive into it all, I just want to say thank you. We hit 50,000 subscribers here on my channel. A small milestone, but a milestone that I honestly didn't think I was ever going to reach. And the way it all went down was awesome. You know, we hit 50K on the live stream, so to be able to experience that with everyone, this channel is built on a community that really, you know, we all love Yeezy sneakers. That's why I started my channel to begin with. And to be able to share my passion with everyone across the world and an awesome ride and a great journey. You know, I can honestly say I wake up every day with a smile on my face. This is just awesome. And I'm excited. I really am excited for the future. I know it's only 50K, but now, this sweatshirt actually means something. The 50K subscriber sweatshirt. I still have some available. It's on my website, roscoekicks.com. I'll leave the link down below in the description. So we hit it, 50K subscriber. Now you guys can rock it because it means something now. Again, once again, I cannot thank you guys enough. And hey, small milestone to a huge mountain that we're trying to climb, we're on to the next one. Thank you once again for 50K subscribers. Now let's get into the Zion release recap. And I will say I have never experienced a 350 release like I had with the Zions. You know, a lot of people will say maybe the Black Statics of 2019. I mean, that one was definitely up there as a crazy release, but nothing this year. Maybe the Cinders, but the Cinders sold out relatively quick. This one was certainly a marathon. Just a crazy, long, grueling process for this sneaker. It started off early. You know, we did the live cop at 6.30 a.m. to get ready for the foot sites. All the foot sites were dropping at seven. That's finish line, foot locker, champ. So we tried to get ready for that release and there was nothing but trouble all morning long on those sites. Every browser I had open said, hang on tight, we'll get you in there shortly. And that was through like two hours of all morning long on those sites. You know, I got through on champs, but even when I got through on champs, it just wasn't letting me you know, click the size and add it to cart. Just said sold out, sold out, even though I know they had pairs available. The only one that I got in my cart was a kid size, and that's why I said in the beginning, you know, I ended up walking away with a lowercase w. I still have to count that as an L because I really wanted another pair of these. I will say this had to be the best 350 V2 color we've seen so far in 2020, and I think this will be probably the best one of the entire year. You know, and I knew that going into it. I knew the demand was going to be relatively high. However, there was a lot of stock numbers getting flown around. Even I reported that. Hey, you know, I'm hearing that there's 500,000 pairs worldwide, but there was damn well nowhere close to that number. I would have to say probably about less than 100,000, maybe right around 80,000 pairs dropped. And it certainly caught a lot of people off guard because it definitely was not easy to grab this shoe. And after the foot sites sort of kind of sold out, we went into the Yeezy supply drop. And anytime the Yeezy supply drop happens, you can just expect just straight madness. Like it never goes smooth with them. But me personally, I'm certainly going to have to change things up because it's just not working. Their site is definitely getting a little bit stronger as far as security wise. They are definitely blocking people left and right. They're killing everyone's capture. I kind of have figured out how I'm gonna be able to fix that. You're just not gonna be able to run as many open browsers as you used to. You just can't do it anymore. Those days are over. You're gonna, you're gonna have to stick with two or three tops. And even when they do kill your capture, you're gonna have to shut it all down, exit all out, clear your cookies, clear your history, and get back into it. And then when they clear your capture again, you're gonna have to repeat it over and over again. Definitely gonna have to take a mental note on this because for the next 350 release, I think it's gonna be the same. It just seems like right now, the sneaker industry is bigger than ever. You know, there's a lot of newer sneakerheads jumping into the game now. I just expect, even with the upcoming 350 V2s, the Israfil, the Ezreal, those are just gonna be as crazy at copying online. This was certainly a release for the books. I've never experienced this before. It seemed like a lot of people got their Ws on the Adidas app raffle, which is really, really good. But even that you cannot rely on. I haven't hit on the Adidas app raffle 
in probably since February or maybe January. We're gonna have to do more leg work and we're gonna have to figure this out because this release definitely caught me off guard. It's a great colorway. It's an awesome Yeezy 350. I've been wearing these nonstop. I wanted a personal pair, I got one, but I did want to have an extra pair to keep on ice so that way I can beat these up even more. I knew it was gonna be crazy. When people on YouTube and on Instagram and even me myself started throwing comparisons that these sorta of look like turtle doves, I'm sure everyone out there was like, okay, God, we need to have this in the collection. We have mixtures of browns, grays, tans. But let me know down in the comments if you were able to walk away with a W. I know it was sort of mixed. I got the feeling through the chat. This one was a tough one. You know, as far as resale prediction right now, it's doing very well. It's all above 300. You know, some sizes are about 350, some lower, you know, the bigger sizes are like 325. I think the number's gonna come down and fall at 300, but these are definitely gonna shoot back up as if they don't restock and this is it for a while. I would say sell. You know, I would say sell. You know, you're gonna make your money on it, move on to the next release. Uh, but if you do hold, it will go up a little bit. But again, you're playing with a little bit of risk there because these could definitely restock. Who knows with Yeezys? I mean, they're restocking bread. So all shoes are on the table when it comes to Yeezys. Now let's get into this week's upcoming sneaker releases. This is certainly a big week for Nike. They have two of the hottest shoes of the year dropping this week. One being the Grateful Dead SBs. It's three colorways. The orange pair was a skate shop exclusive that only dropped in San Francisco. And then you also have a green pair that's gonna be dropping at skate shops worldwide. But the one that we're all probably gonna be going for is the yellow pair. That one's gonna be dropping on the sneakers app. Now, it looks like they're gonna be doing by draw. I have no idea how you're gonna get these. I really don't, besides paying resale value. We'll be doing a live cop. So I'll be entering the draw on my phone. I'm probably gonna ask my mom, my dad, my sister, my aunt, my uncle, my second cousin, my first cousin. That's the only way you're probably gonna be able to get this. I don't know the stock numbers and doesn't even matter. Everything with Nike is extremely limited. Most likely will be an L, but we'll go for it. So stay tuned to that. We're gonna be doing a live call for the Grateful Dead. They're gonna be dropping on July 24th. That's this upcoming Friday. Now, the next one that's big for Nike and Jordan and that is the off-white Jordan 4s. Again, it's gonna be a sneakers app raffle. I like this one, I think it's super, super clean. Again, I'm not getting my hopes up. I haven't hit on the sneakers app all year long. I don't expect to hit on this one at all, but we'll go for it. It's gonna resell for $1,000 straight off the bat. Not even gonna think about buying them for resale. There's just no way. We'll do a live cop for the off-white fours that's gonna be happening on Saturday, July 25th. And then for Yeezy, we will see the Blue Oat Non-Reflective 380. Now I have a pair, I already did a full review if you haven't checked that video out. This one, I'm not sure how good it's going to do. I like it, I honestly do. It's something different, it's something unique, but I know for a fact, not a lot of people do. This would have to be a personal pair only. I don't expect any big resale value on this sneaker at all, especially on the non-reflective pair. But it is dropping this upcoming Saturday. It's already up on Yeezy Supply. You can already see the countdown. I do think it's gonna sell out. It's definitely gonna sell out, and it looks like it's gonna be dropping in full family sizing. I probably won't double up on this. I'll probably try to grab like a kid's pair or an infant pair for my nephew. I have my pair, I like it. I think a lot of Yeezy heads are going to like this sneaker as well. But the one that I know everyone is looking forward to is actually the full reflective Blue 0380. I expect the full reflective version of this shoe to be shock dropping this week. I don't know when, but my best guess in looking at the prior history of reflective Yeezys, they tend to like to shock drop them the day before. So maybe that Friday, the 24th, maybe we can expect maybe like a midnight shock drop. You kind of know when you see a Yeezy Mafia pre-order, so be on the lookout for that. If you see that, then you know it's dropping very, very soon. Just make sure you have your post notifications turned on because as soon as they shock drop, I'm jumping on my computer and we're live streaming that drop. If I get a W on the full reflective, I'll definitely let these ones go, but we have to be on the lookout because the full reflective blue oat will be shock dropping this week. Also have a new Yeezy alert. Looks like we have another colorway in the 700 V3 that's gonna be dropping later this fall. This one, they're calling it Seraphim. Now Seraphim is a biblical term for angels. Color on this shoe is yellow. It's not a yellow that's very similar to the blue O380. However, they're describing it as a more of an egg yolk yellow. It's gonna be very rich 
very bright. And that's gonna be the whole color on the side of the sneaker. And then it looks like the sole is going to have like a tan brown color, which I think works very nice with yellow. And then on the tongue is again black. The cage will in fact glow in the dark once again, but this is the next colorway of the 700 V3. So they're kind of playing off of, you know, the, the Azerith dropping next month in August. That's going to be blue. And then later this fall, we're going to have a yellow one called Seraphim. So we got a blue and we got a yellow. Let me know what you guys think of the Seraphim 700 V3. I will have a separate video when we see images, but to me, I love the 700 V3. It's one of my favorite new sneaker for Yeezy. The model is super comfortable. It's so dope. I like the design of it. I think it's cool and I cannot wait to see the shoe when it's fully put together. But that is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Bonus footage, my nephew, he is over here right now and I'm gonna surprise him with the Yeezy Quantum Barium. So maybe if we're lucky, he'll give a full detailed review and an on foot, but I am super excited to give these to him. You see the Batman? Come on up. You wanna say hi? Right there, hi to who? Say hi to the hi. people. Hi, hi. All right, so I got you these. You like your Yeezys, right? Yeah, I do. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show them, show them what you got. Yeah. You'll look fresh. And then this is a, this is called the Supreme Oreo. If you eat this, you get superpowers and you turn into a hype beast. Do you want to be a hype beast? No. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And we'll catch you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs>